Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermist Lure Company. Welcome to today's wet episode of Thundermist Fishing Tips. Always great to see you. We put the ice fishing rods away. We've got abnormally hot weather here. It's the end of February and it's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit today. Uh, it's wet and rainy and it's perfect trout weather. So as much as I'm uh, very sad that I put away my ice fishing rods, I'm also very happy to be open water fishing. And I'm here with everyone's favorite boatless angler. We've got Antonio with us today, folks, and he's rigging up there real quickly. So I'm gonna beat him into the water this morning. What I'm doing today, we're running uh, row bags, folks. We're gonna run fresh row bags. And the way my setup is very important here. We're fishing the Niagara River and there's a lot of current. So I have got a T-turn on and that's one of the keys is the T-turn three-way swivel. And the reason why it's one of the keys is because it keeps you totally 100% tangle free. As you're bouncing along out here and working the current, it allows my row bag to work around and uh, to always stay tangle free. So that gives me the confidence that at least my rig is running properly. From there, what I've done is I've tied a line a good foot and a half, maybe a little longer, between a foot and a half and two feet to a sinker. And that's going to be another key. I'm going to talk about the sinker in a second. And then I've got just a bit of a shorter line to my hook. So my sinker line is about, oh, an inch or two long, longer than my hook line. And uh, the reason I've done that, folks, is because I want that sinker just to bounce along the bottom in this current. It's gonna just tumble along the bottom and my row bag is going to be working along there and uh, right down in the bottom in the strike zone, right where the trout are. So I'm always gonna be along the bottom, I'm always gonna be in the strike zone, and I'm always gonna be tangle free. So the, the rig is perfect, and that's what I'm doing. I'm working, and Antonio's already in too. So basically, casting upstream, and just letting it bounce along the bottom, and working our way, just like that. And then at the end of the drift, no problem. Just bring it in, and recast. Now, I mentioned about the sinker. Very important as well. Along with the T-turn, the other important thing is the sinker. And you can see here, so that keeps me totally tangle free. And the sinker now, I've got a three quarter ounce sinker on there. And you have to judge the weight of the sinker depending on how deep you're fishing and how fast the current's going. So over here, I know it's a little bit deep. It's about 15, 20 feet deep and it's a strong current. So I went with a three quarter ounce sinker and the three quarter ounce is just heavy enough to just keep me on the bottom but yet the current is strong enough to keep it moving along. If it's too light, what will happen is when I cast it in, it won't hit bottom until down here and I'm missing a lot, of, uh, a lot of good drift and a lot of good strike zone. So I want it to get down fairly quickly, but I don't want it to stay down. I want it to keep moving. So three quarter ounce today, looks like it's gonna be the ticket. All right, gorgeous morning, wet, not too cold, perfect trout day, hoping to get in the fish or two. So stay tuned folks, so glad you could join us. There we go. Nice. Bounce, bounce, hit. Antonio, did you see that? I did. I'm getting a net. Very nice. Grab the net. Grab the net. Doesn't feel like a big one, but what a nice pickup. That's what it's all about, folks. Waking up in the morning, coming out in the wet weather. Right there. Absolutely perfect. Nice and quiet. I was just tumbling that bait along the bottom. And a real nice pickup. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Isn't this what it's all about, Antonio? Oh, first open fish of the year. <laughs> oh, it feels great. Ooh, it's a nice one. It's a good one? Yeah, a good size. I just caught a glimpse. Oh, no, he's taking drag now. Nice. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Antonio. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that color. What a beauty. And look at the T-turn, of course, doing its job all the time. I absolutely love it. Oh, beautiful fish. Nice little one. Oh, oh, oh. that's a nice, nice rainbow. Looks like a male. It is a male. You want to hold my rod? Sure. Let's take a look at him. Oh, come on. 
He's still full of a lot of energy. Maybe let's take a step back. Take a step back yeah. out of the water. <laughs> Balancing on a couple of rocks. <laughs> okay. You want you want to keep this one? Yeah, please. Okay. I know. He, you're going to make, what are you going to make? Gravelix? Probably, yeah. Okay. We will keep this one. So I will put my finger right there and hold him up. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful fish, folks? Absolutely gorgeous. And you know, this is a nice small one. It is a good it's eater. Good. So yeah, yeah. as much as uh, we like to catch and release, we also like to catch and keep the odd one. Nice little hook set just in the jaw there. Might need the needle nose maybe to get that Actually, hook that's up. that's a good hook set. It is a good it's hook really set. Good. It's right inside and it's right there in the bottom jaw. You got it. Hey? Right there, folks. That's what it's all hey. about. What a bite. Beautiful. Nice. I saw the hook set actually. Hey? Yeah. Oh, good you fish. look like you look like you got a good one. Feels good. You know, once in a while, folks, the weather person is absolutely bang on. They said in within an hour, rain's gonna stop, and it has. And in another hour, it's supposed to clear up and the sun come out. So, absolutely perfect. Textbook, eh? It's a nice fish, too. Yeah. Oh, you got a good one. Yeah, I like to check the weather network. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Oh, is it a steelhead or a rainbow? I don't know, but it, it jumped and it still got <laughs> Yeah, I like the weather network. I look at the hour by hour forecast and it's really good. As much as they're wrong, they're also right. A lot of times. Now, what are you running, Antonio? You got what, 10 pound or eight? I actually have eight pound test. Eight, eight pound, okay. And, uh size six hook size six hook yeah I think I got a size four yeah I want a little smaller oh that's a beauty not about the same size as mine nice fish. oh it's a nice fish I hope it's a female actually you never know it's kind of running out of row <laughs> <laughs> <Be honest. laughs> Bring it that way to land? Uh, or I can come. Actually, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice looking fish. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful rainbow, folks. That's a beautiful rainbow. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Didn't like the net. He did not like the net at all. <clears throat> you got a good stance there? Well, I think like you were going to fall over. <laughs> 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 balance myself on the rocks here. Uh, oh yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. And there you go, Antonio. Nice. There you go. He's thick. It's a thick fish. Nice fish. And it looks like a male. It's got a bit of a hook job. So how you missing ice fishing so far? <laughs> eh? I'm not. You're not. <laughs> not missing it right now, are you? Oh, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Nice thick, eh? Thick, yeah. wide, good girth on them. Nice color. Yeah. You got a medium T-turn you're running? Yep. Yeah. Same setup as you. My Same. sinker line, just a little bit longer than my hook line. Yeah. Same rig as me. Exact same, yeah. Beautiful. Folks, that's what it's all about. These kind of mornings are perfect for sleeping in, but not for the boatless angler. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get a chance to... Hey, I know. Next cast in. Unbelievable. Wow. Let me come around. I just got over to my spot, Antonio. Nice. Next cast in. Oh, gotta love that. Good hit. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah. Rainbow. This is a nice eater. Yeah. Might be brown. Really? Yeah. Is it a brown? What do you got? Yeah, I a brown. Uh, Can't tell yet. <laughs> right in the net. Wow. Nope. It's a rainbow. It's a little, actually, it's a little steelhead. Okay, let's move in a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little steelhead. That's what you got, Antonio. That's a beauty. Now that is your eating size right there. That's a good one. Hey? Yep. Okay. 
Just as we, just as you finished unhooking that other fish, here, let's get him out. Cast it, and that was it. Have you put the bite. cast in, boom, right away. And we were just talking about the ice fishing, saying, you know, <laughs> how much, how much we missed the ice fishing, but this is really uh, making up for things. Nice little steelhead. So two rainbows and a steelhead. You gotta love that. Keep this one. Hey, okay. yeah, that's a nice little keeper. That one is, yeah. Wow. I would say so. Strong. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There you go. That's a nice steelhead. See how it's all silver? It's all silver and it's got the dots on the tail. But uh, the other ones were two nice rainbows, and that's a nice, nice silver torpedo. Nice steelhead. That's what getting up early, folks, is all about right there. Rain or shine, it doesn't matter. Gorgeous morning, just like this month of February end of February bonus weather you gotta love it if you get an opportunity folks get on out there find yourself a shoreline grab a Thunder Mist T-turn put on a row bag do some bottom bouncing having some fun that's exactly what we're doing today thanks ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Mist Fishing Tips and as always folks until next time good luck and good fishing unless Antonio gets another one on the next cast <laughs> <laughs> I hope so yeah we gotta go soon I know